the sources of human capital formation that is which strengthen the human capital formation are first of all the education if the people are educated literate that is the time we will have human capital formation because a literate person will add on to the asset of the country a doctor an engineer a scientist a professor a teacher and so on <clears throat> are definitely adding on to the human capital formation that is why in most of the households people even take loan to teach their children because it is such a big asset that over the time whatever you have spent on education comes back to you in many folds next is health there is an old saying that health is wealth if the people are not healthy then we cannot have human capital formation because it's only a healthy body which will have a healthy mind because if we are healthy we'll be able to study we'll be able to work we'll be able to add on to the asset of the country so together with education and healthy people lead to human capital formation the next is on job training you see once you are educated you get a job you should not get saturated after that you should not stop after that because you have to keep yourself updated you have to actually move with the coming technology so on job training is a must for human capital formation we cannot have sleeping or outdating human capitals we need to have people who are knowledgeable who are well versed who know the new techniques who know what is happening around them so on job trainings are a must as much as the education the next factor is of course migration now migration involves lot of cost that is moving from one place to another but migration is essential because if we do not migrate then our skills will get dead at a point wherever we are required we have to move there in order to earn in india there is a trend of rural people moving to the urban areas so migration is another factor adding on to the human capital formation